These are the flowers you keep missing. These are the flowers from the airport. And it is now 7.22 on a Sunday. And I just got my second fare, and my second fare came out to the airport for $56. That's fantastic. Just fantastic, that's just what I needed. And look at these guys, they're all waiting here. And this guy's crossing the way. And I'm out of here. Let's get some more light. Let's make this thing a little brighter, shall we? Okay, I can't get that right. There. Not too overexposed, just right. They haven't fixed that bump yet. Well, here's what it looks like in the daylight. In the daylight in the evening, 7.22 p.m. It is the 26th of August. So we're getting towards the end of summer now. We've got Labor Day coming up. Even these uh, maple trees are looking a little bit brown. They're starting to turn a little bit. It's been a dry summer. We had a bit of rain today, but not much, just a little sprinkling, and it didn't last very long. So that's it. Looks like my week is off to a good start. To the airport already. Beginning of the Sunday night. I can coast the rest of the night. I just fueled up. I had a night about $330 for a Sunday night, even though at one point I was off the board and went to sleep for an hour. It was uh, pretty good. I didn't get to watch a lot of videos. Every time I got to watch a video, I fell asleep. And uh, yeah. So I was catching up on some of the sleep I didn't get in the daytime. Because it's hard to sleep in the daytime. Even if you've got the, the blinds and the curtains drawn. And now it's the uh, Monday morning. I get to go home, relax, eat something, watch some videos, have a few drinks, go to sleep, do it again tomorrow. So four nights left to go this week. Yeah, exactly 6.01 in the morning and I'm done. We got a guy who drives day shift today and tomorrow who's usually on time or fairly early. So that would be this morning. And yeah, that's about it for my Sunday night. Taxi vlog 520. The second trip of the Monday, I get sent to Value Village and I pick up this guy who seems to have a few screws loose and he wants to go out to Stelly's. This is Stelly's Crossroad, the one that I'm driving on right now. And uh, it was a $50 fare, but he left $6 of change on the seat. So uh, to me, that's, uh, that's reasonable. He didn't want it to go over $50, so about a block before the place we're going to, I shut off the meter at $49.90. But he still left me uh, at $6 on the seat, so that worked out okay. 7.32 is the time. We're just a little over an hour into the shift and it is going good. God, it's dark. I had to turn the light up here. Hopefully that works. Hopefully you can see. I wonder if it's just the screen that was turned lighter or if uh, if the whole, the whole thing is turned lighter. I don't know if it changes the exposure on the video. I'll have to check that. So I've had this phone for a while, and my old phone didn't have a darkness adjustment. Oh wait, it's getting dark again. 
maybe the screen is automatic, but the, the video is just giving me what's there. And it's adjusting itself, I don't know. Anyway, beginning of my night. It started off very well. It's now 5.59 a.m. I just fueled up. It was a crazy night. People were really a lot more unhinged than usual. I've done over 300. Uh, I've had a good night. But uh, with people being uh, all off kilter, it was a little bit unnerving at times, especially the guy who went out to the uh, uh, Brentwood Bay. He was counting the meter, 550, 560, 570. Oh, it's already at $20. You know, things like that. And you can see that the days are getting shorter because the last segment in the morning that I shot was exactly 24 hours ago and it was quite a bit brighter than this is. So, yeah, tomorrow it's going to be darker still. Oh, yeah, what fun we're having. Anyways, yeah, it was a good night, but I, I did have some uh, some wacko, wacko people to deal with. People were just unhinged. What can I say? I think it was the last remaining effects of the full moon cycle. And I think the full moon thing is done now. I think... Uh, think it's gonna calm down and the uh, the energy should get more uh, relaxed I think yeah so much for the Tuesday night no that was the Monday night it's Tuesday morning now that's right yeah oh and the traffic is starting to make its way into town already I'll talk to you sooner All right, the time is now 3.27 a.m. and I am leaving the airport. Uh, the flowers are right up there, but they're dark anyway, so you can't see them. Uh, yeah, at this hour, there's not much going on. And I brought this girl out here who was working in a fishing lodge for the summer and she's flying back to Ontario. She's flying to Hamilton. And uh, right now, it being 3.27 in the morning, I have $360 on, on already at 3.28 in the morning. I have not had a night this week under $300. I had Monday night was 300 and something. Tuesday night was 300 and something. Now I've got 360 for uh no, that was Sunday was yeah, and Monday were over 300 and now the Tuesday night the night that's reputed to be for being the slowest night of the week I have 360 on already and I still have two and a half hours to go till the shift is ended so that is just wonderful very wonderful there's a certain $200 bottle of scotch that I'm interested in getting and it looks like I'll be able to get it. On tonight's earnings alone. Yeah. The earnings from the other two nights, from the Sunday night and the Monday night, That goes straight in the bank. Oh yeah, and tomorrow I gotta pay my chiropractor. And 
Today I gotta work out in the gym for a little bit. Oh yeah. Well, it's been great, you know. I might have more happening later in the morning. I might have more happening. It's been steady all night. But if nothing happens, that's still okay. Anyways, I might let you know if there's anything memorable to talk about after this. I'm kind of happy with the way it turned out. I just want to watch a few videos, maybe fall asleep a few minutes. Do another couple calls, taking people to work in the morning and I guess just end the whole thing by 5.30 and wash the car yeah I'll be back uh, here we are at the airport again it is now Thursday morning it is 10 minutes after 5. 10 minutes after 5. And this night was a little strange in that at the beginning, I was getting hit with all the short trips and the coupon trips and the old folks trips with walkers and the, uh, the lady with the young kid and the stroller and the stroller had shopping bags hanging all over off of it uh, and even in the seat where the kid's supposed to sit there was a shopping bag in there and, and uh, basically had to lift the whole stupid thing into the trunk and put it in sideways so that it would fit and um, just had awkward things like that or you know being sent to an address and the customer's gone so you call them up and nobody answers the phone it rings 10 times and then about 15 minutes later there's a call from that same number you know and they're saying well who is this and then you tell them and they said well I got into another one well have a good night thank you very much um, what else happened tonight? It started getting better at around 1 in the morning or so. And I had a few trips between 1 and uh, 3.30. And uh, now I'm at... Uh, Fourth to twenty sixth. The Greek festival was the twenty fourth to twenty sixth. Oh no, maybe it's this week. This weekend also. So there, it was already a weekend of the Greek festival, and I missed it. I'm gonna have to go. It's gonna be this weekend. Uh, probably Saturday, Sunday, and Monday because Monday is the. Uh, Monday is the, um, oh, there. Monday is Labor Day, but this here is Thursday morning, and I've got one night left to go, I've got uh, about 300 on right now, something like that. I think I'll wash the car out here on the peninsula again. Just because it's convenient and the car wash works really well. Yeah. One more night to go. It is now 6.13 in the morning, 
it took me four minutes to figure out how to turn the light off on this camera so that it wouldn't be shining a light out of my out my window when I'm shooting video so it's Friday morning this is the end of my shift uh, I did another almost $300 night I think it added up to uh, $295 and that's not bad considering that for almost two hours before the last trip I was asleep yep from uh, from just after 4 till just before 6 I didn't have any business and I just dropped off the last customer I was waking up and then saying, thinking, oh, I gotta go to the car wash and gotta wash it. And I got, a, got sent out to this place called Zinnia and brought them all the way to here, which is the Ocean Point Resort. Um, there's a condo building right there. And this light takes forever. I should have gone out the other way. Fuck. Oh well, it's gonna change soon. Yeah, I was tired. I had some good trips that night. And I had some not so good trips and a lot of them in a row. But it all worked out. Almost 300 for a Thursday. That's uh, Clearly about uh, well, it's a hundred sixty dollars or so of profit to me, and that's okay. I had more profitable nights during the week. The best one was Tuesday. Tuesday I profited $300 in my pocket. Can't complain about that. I don't really have much else to say. Except I'm glad the week is over. And as soon as I park this thing... I won't have to touch a taxi again until Sunday night. And it's now Friday morning. So once we get over this bridge, I'll just say I hope yours is better than mine. And have yourselves a good weekend.